this is my kayak it's a pelican icon 120 it's 12 foot long weighs like 30 oh weighs like 60 something 70 something pounds when it's new without all the extra crap in it as you can see i'm in an apartment <clears throat> um i don't have uh a garage or it's, and it's too cold to be outside so i figured i'd just film it in here that's where it sits up on the wall i don't know if it's supposed to sit up there or i technically can but i do it anyways i don't care uh i've done a lot of different stuff to this kayak <clears throat> i just wanted to post a video i haven't seen really any good videos about this particular kayak i think because this is like it's just a beginner kayak and, uh, it's nothing special uh but i just wanted to post and show everybody what I did to this. You can make a, a cheap kayak nice if you uh, if you try. Anyways, so I have the LED lights going around the front as you can see. Uh, I bought them off of eBay. They're like $11 for a 20 or a 30 foot string of them. They're waterproof LED stripping. <clears throat> I put them on the, uh, the lip where the two halves come together there's the lip and I mounted these right on the lip on the top part of the lip and what I did was I put them on two or three inches at a time and I super glued the backing and then I put painters tape over it immediately and I held it uh, that way it would be held in place and I didn't uh, I didn't move move it or mess with it for 24 hours and I just let it dry uh, they work really well they're really super bright as you can see from the camera uh, I also have interior lights as well as a, a Lowrance unit uh, this works really well uh, interior lights here there and then I have an exterior light in the back uh, I'm sorry a lamp 360 lamp that's the only thing that you need to have to be legal on a kayak when you're staying out past uh, past sundown, I spent literally a whole day researching it, all the laws and rules uh, as far as what you need and what you don't need. Now, if you have a motor or if you have a trolling motor or anything like that on your boat, then you have to have uh, navigation lights. But uh, if you don't, you just need a, a light that's three hundred that's viewable from three hundred sixty degrees, and that is a certain amount. Um, uh, a certain height off the water I don't remember exactly but uh, so I have these lights mounted on the front uh, I drilled one small hole just one little bitty hole for this entire strip right here I have it going uh, the wire going through and then I have marine gooped the crap out of this hole so uh, no in, so no water leaks through um, and then I have it going to a battery sitting inside this latch here in the front uh, I have the big battery there. It's a lawnmower battery. It's 15 pounds. I have that for when I run the lights and my head unit at the same time. But when I'm just running one or the other, I use this battery here. It's a uh, motorcycle cranking battery. It's five pounds. When uh, when I first took these light, uh, this kayak out with the lights on it, I had this battery first and these lights continuously running will uh, stay on for about two hours and 45 minutes before they start to get dim um, and eventually die so I decided to upgrade to a bigger battery it does weigh the front end down a little bit more um, so if it's really windy or anything I definitely won't go out uh, because I don't want to risk uh, water it's just harder to move when the when the, when this is in there it's it's uh it weighs it down more the boat sits lower in the water uh it's just not good to have out when it's real windy although i have taken this out uh on the on the lake when there were two or three foot white caps and water was just i mean I, I i i got soaking wet that day water was coming over the front and i was literally just smashing head first into these waves and uh the inside of the hole was completely bone dry when I when it was all said and done. When I was done with it, uh, there was no water on the inside. So that hatch works really well and it's waterproof as well. 
I did the same thing for the LED, the inside, the interior LED lights right here. It's one small hole at the end of the strip. One small hole, one small hole. Just marine goop the crap out of it so no water gets in. And I run, I run it to the front where the battery sits. Same thing with the depth finder. One small hole, marine goop. And instead of, I wanted to do a, a through hole uh, transducer mount. Uh, however, the unit that I have, the Elite 5 DSI, the transducer works uh, works a lot better. I think any transducer works a lot better if it's sitting directly in the water. So, uh, I looked up a lot of stuff on YouTube for the transducer mounts and as well as the light mounts. I didn't like any of the lighting mounts that I found. Uh, they seemed really expensive. This kayak overall is inexpensive. I got it on sale for like 250 bucks at Academy. I think originally they're they're like 550 maybe. Uh, but anyways, it was a super good deal, and everything on here is pretty inexpensive, including these lights. And I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money, so when I was looking up YouTube videos about people setting everything up, they were buying all these special lights made by yak attack or whoever and it, it just looked like a lot of money and a lot of it looked like a pain in the ass honestly so what i did was uh i mounted the transducer on a pvc pipe it's going across here behind me so it's nice and firm stable it's not going anywhere i mounted it on the end of this pipe right here and anytime that i'm not in the water or uh, that the kayak's not in the water this sits in the upright position and then when I get in the water and I'm going and I'm ready to uh, Start using my depth finder. I simply turn this down and it sits in the water perfectly. It works really well I took it out last weekend um, And I'm really I'm really happy with uh, the results and how it turned out but um <clears throat> Yeah, there's my, uh, my, I got a couple of rod and reels in here just, just because, so you can see how they fit in. But I got my crate, like everybody does. I got a bunch of crap in there, pliers, marine goop, uh, I got my anchor, I got a waterproof box, a couple tackle boxes, rope, mostly just, uh, like plier, like stuff that's, it, it, you might need when you're out you can't have enough rope you can't have enough you can't have enough sets of pliers or or uh knives or and stuff like that so um i just got a bunch of stuff like that in my box here's this slide i was telling you about so uh, i went to academy it's 20 bucks i cut out a hole in the back here uh, i have three screws holding it down and it comes up yay so high right here and then it can extend and go up or down up or down however high up usually when I'm crappie fishing at night um, I have it sitting up pretty high if it'll screw in oh there it goes okay so anyways uh, then as well, I have these rod holders here. They work pretty well. They slide in and out. They fit. Right. They've got a pattern on the bottom, and then this uh, whatever this you want to call it, the mounting bracket. It slides in like so. You can turn it however you want to turn it. And then uh, once you get it in, you just lock it back. If I can, this one's really hard to push in for some reason. Whatever, it, I'll get locked. But anyways, you lock it back so when you pull it up, uh, it won't fall in the water. Like I, I've done that a couple, I've done that one time before, and it was, uh, it was. Uh, I got super upset. It was like a thirty dollar whoops, pretty much. Anyways. And then on the other side over here, the other side of the kayak, I have an anchor trolley system. It's just rope. It's got pulleys here on either end. It works uh, really well. Most of them, like I said, this is really inexpensive stuff. I didn't go out and buy stuff that's 
especially for this. I didn't go buy the anchor trolley, especially for a kayak. I didn't go buy lights, especially for a kayak. Just made do with what I could find that wasn't really expensive. The only thing that I think I spent money on was the uh, fish finder. And I bought that used from somebody and it works really well. He took really good care of it. And these things, they were like 30 something dollars at Academy. Um, that's really the only thing that I bought that was built for a kayak per se. But uh, let's see, give you another view sitting down. The depth finder is out of the way. It's on a ram mount, so I can move it wherever I want to. Um, sitting like this. this, Those lights put out a lot, so um, it's really easy to see my rod tips at night when I have them laying down when I'm crappie fishing. I, don't, I just go out on lakes and ponds. I don't go down rivers or whitewater rafting or ocean fishing. Um, let me show you what they kind of do here. So this apartment that I'm, my apartment right now has got a few lights on it, a few lights on in the living room. So it's kind of bright in here, but you can see how bright these lights are when I turn them on. Like I'll just turn the interiors on first and then the exterior, the front led lights and the 360 light at the back are, t are uh, tied in together. So they turn on and off at the same time, one switch. Uh, I really love the lights. I can't uh, can't express how how well they work, especially on the water. Um, they they work super 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 good. I really love them. And then uh, the only th like I said, this is just a beginner kayak, and I don't I don't think I'm gonna up get a more expensive one just because I, there's a lot of I put a lot of work into this thing. And um, I just don't want to do it over again. But uh, if I were to say one thing that I don't like about this particular kayak, the Pelican Icon 120, is that this seat that comes with it, it really sucks. It's really, really uncomfortable. Maybe an hour and a half, two hours into my fishing trip, my back is already killing me. Um, it's just... Uh, it just sucks plain and simple and it's not like it's made it's not like it's you know it's not like it's uh heavy duty or anything it's just it's real flimsy you bet pretty much nothing you're sitting on nothing that's the only thing that i don't like about it um if anybody has any questions on how i did anything uh, go ahead and send me a message or comment or just comment below and I'll, I'll uh, be happy to answer any questions but I, I do I do I will say this I do have I have drilled a lot of holes in this boat um, it doesn't really bother me as long as I have put uh, marine goop or silicone over it my juice mostly use marine goop uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really have a problem with it. it. Doesn't bother me. Like I said, it's it's super inexpensive, so the actual putting the hole in the boat doesn't bother me. But as far as the water getting in, I don't, I haven't had any problems. Uh, where I have this transducer cable going down the side of the boat, I have these uh, cable holder deals, plastic deals, and you just put a screw in, and then it holds it in place. Well, I put a screw. I'll tell you what, actually what I did was I put some marine goop down and then I put a screw on top of the marine goop and I screwed it in. So it's got, it's marine gooped and the, 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 uh, the screws marine gooped in there and it, it's not going anywhere. And I, I don't think any water is going to get in. I'm not going to have any problems with that. Uh, so, um, that's pretty much it guys. Um, I haven't seen a really tricked out uh, kayak like like mine with this Pelican on YouTube and I figured I'd just go ahead and put mine on here and see what everybody thought of it. Um, just show it, I'll show everybody one more time. It looks really cool on the water. 
I get a, I usually get a lot of comments, a lot of boats that drive by always they always uh have something to say. But uh it works really well. If you have any comments, uh post below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.